today feature is on the recent Mini GT release. Four castings in total. We have the Hong Kong Sinopec exclusive, the Land Rover Defender. I will also make a comparison with the first edition. We have a new casting, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, the LBW KM4 in purple green metallic, and also the Benz 190e Evo 2 for the 1991 DTM racing. And now let's take a closer look at the Hong Kong exclusive Land Rover Defender. First thing I noticed the GSM for the Mini GT packaging has become thinner. It makes the box packaging extremely fragile, so it can't withstand any pressure or even slight bump. As a collector, this is really disappointing. Otherwise, standard packaging design, and this is a Hong Kong exclusive. Casting itself is 90% identical to the Land Rover Defender. This is a support vehicle for the Camel Trophy and the best opportunity for Mini GT to make a variation of this casting again. All the features are similar except the absence for the UK flag and also a difference between the wheel sets. For collectors who has missed out the first edition, there is no better time to get this casting although it's a Hong Kong exclusive. Just like all the Land Rover Defender, the wheel set is very skinny. I'm not too sure if this is to scale, I believe so. The tires get wobbly very easily because it's so thin. And you have to take time to manually adjust it so that it looks good in photo. Take note not to overstretch the tire or force it because the rubber tire will become stretched and the whole casting will be damaged. When compared between the two castings, they are identical except for the wheel sets and also the missing UK flag for the support vehicle. Mini GT has released a variety of Land Rover. They are extremely popular, hence they keep making it. Apart from the skinny wheel set, I think the Land Rover casting is awesome and they are totally compatible. Next is the new tooling, the Taycan Turbo S. The packaging of this casting really looks terrible because the GSM is thin, the decal application is messy, there's bumps and dents on the box packaging. This is totally terrible, not justifiable. This comes from the factory and I think the packers just forcefully closing the flap. For collector items like this, this is definitely no excuse. I think Mini GT should really go back to its thicker packaging. In contrast with the packaging, the Taycan looks great. The paint job is clean, it's very sleek. I think the winner here is definitely on the wheel sets. It rolls extremely well and the wheel set looks sort of futuristic. Side mirror is in elastic but it has been coated with the same color as the body. I'm very impressed with the plastic insert headlights. I think it's nicely executed. The Porsche emblem is also very sharp but because of its slim build, Mini GT has to paint the rear lightings, which I think is a shame. You can see the Taycan Turbo S marking very clearly. In 1 is to 64 scale, I think that's great. Overall, a very clean and premium casting. I have no doubt this will definitely look great in photography. And one of the most stylish casting in my collection. Next, the LBWK BMW M4. And now I start to take notice of the packaging. Bumps and knocks appears. Standard packaging design is a right hand drive. Clearly the winner here is the paint job. It has the mini GT magic paint finish. The color hues just keep changing when you hold the casting. It's really fascinating and therapeutic at the same time to see the color changes. Apart from that, the details for the M4 is great. The Liberty Rock treatment makes it even more cool. Carbon roof in 1 is to 64 proportion, I think that's great. And I'm very happy to add another LBWK casting into my collection. Lastly, the Mercedes-Benz 190E for the 1991 DTM race. Standard box packaging design and this is a casting that's no surprise to every collector. As always, the winner here is the Mercedes emblem. The finishing for the Merce emblem is in metal. And despite its small size in 164 scale, 
and in my case i'll try my very best not to touch it i applaud mini gt for the initiative to add in the emblem while many makers will choose to avoid it color scheme is predominantly in white and red the paint job is very clean the wheel set rolls extremely well the sponsors logo are all very sharp and clear at the 164 scale I can expect Mini GT will come up with a few more variations of this casting because the Land Rover and this Benz is one of the most popular release. The Benz casting is still one of my favorite casting in my collection. Stay tuned for more Mini GT features and remember to like, share, and sub to my channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.